Well, Jim, it's good to have you back again. I see you come up a week earlier this year. Yeah, we were, uh, uh, after harvesting a nice uh, 200 plus uh, whitetail last year, I, I was real excited to get back out here again and, and hunt with you and, and uh, see see what you folks have done here at Greystone. So. Yes, sir. Uh, from talking to you earlier in the year, I heard that you're looking for something on the non-typical side this year. Yeah, there was uh, some real nice non-typical bucks taken last year. and. Uh, last year I was after a typical, this year it's going to be non-typical, so that's what we'll target. So. Sounds good. I think for the game plan this evening is we're going to go sit in the blind. Uh, the nice thing is with you being coming on the first weekend of the gold medal hunts, you get first opportunity of whatever the biggest deer we can find on the ranch is. So we'll go through and do some scouting and eventually go back through all the deer we've seen and pick out whichever one you like best and that's the one we'll go after. What a golden opportunity. Yes, sir. <laughs> On this hunting trip, I brought along my, uh, it's a Weatherby Terramark. It's a seven uh, uh, millimeter mag. Uh, it's a custom, comes out of Weatherby's custom shop. Um, we put a, uh, a 20 power Huskama scope on it with an engraved turret. Um, it's a real nice shooting gun. It's very comfortable, fits me very nice. And fire in a hole. It's important to have a good, good fitting rifle and something that you're comfortable with. And this has been a, it's been a real nice rifle. I'm very happy with it. Right before dark, I mean, we didn't see anything till our bucks, what, 7.30? Yeah, about that. Pretty when late. When they finally Ladies started coming in. Early on us. Yeah. yeah. We, saw them, we saw them like at 6.30 or so. I guess with y'all out doing some scouting this evening and us having a gun in the blind is the reason why y'all end up seeing more than oh, us. You did. always see deer. You always see deer when you ain't got a gun. <clears throat> I guess in the morning we'll meet up about 6 o'clock and split ways and head two different other spots. And yeah, I'm hoping that double drop and then that big typical will show up and we'll look at him, try to get some video and see what they're about. Listen to these guys talk about the, the deer. Every deer I see is just, just uh, I mean, they're awesome. And they keep on looking for something bigger. I don't, it's, it's amazing. It's too early in the morning is what it is. <laughs> yep. I think we're gonna go down here and sit Castle Plum blind this morning. See how it goes, see what we don't see. Okay. sun goes down it's gonna go down to our right so mm -hmm. y'all will be plenty dark in here we'll be in the shadows yeah all righty quick sticks gonna sit outside no we'll put them inside i'll right. probably have to sit right in the middle of y'all yeah then i'll have to move back yeah, just a little back. bit yeah just a little bit yeah. it's a tripod or two yes. tripod okay cool and what you can do too uh, that helps is actually turn your chair and use that for a rest on your elbow. Oh yeah. Yeah, that way so you'll have that next to you when you're holding the trigger sticks and all that. Cool. So that's solid. Yeah, yes. it makes a real solid that's rest. Solid. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a deer right now. Is that him? Is that him? Could be. That's him. You got your binoculars? Oh, I don't have binoculars. It's in, they're in the rig. Grab the rifle.
hit real hard. <laughs> what? Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is a rehearsal. <laughs> I know, but, uh, this is not supposed to happen. <laughs> what time is it? I don't have my phone on me. <laughs> it is about 25 minutes to four. <clears throat> this is preparation. <laughs> I'm going to turn preparation into a hunt. <laughs> Can you believe that? I can't believe he walked out. He's been MIA for two days, and <laughs> we walk in here, sit down, and we look up, and there good deer come walking out. Is that him? Yeah, the two biggest ones we got. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's unbelievable that he walked out. I know it. I Where, it. Where's he been at? I mean, we haven't seen him. He, I, yeah, I mean, unless he's been feeding during the middle of the day like this, like maybe he's been feeding at three o'clock while we've been riding. <laughs> I, I just didn't, it. I can't believe it either. <laughs> didn't hang out long either though. I mean, it was quick. Yeah. And that may be the reason why we've been missing him the entire time is when he's been coming out to eat. I mean, it's been just a few minutes and then he's gone. Yeah, exactly. Well, we had it set up before lunch and then I didn't put any chairs in there because I was like, well, we'll go down there and I wanted all of us to be there as far as so we can make sure we had plenty of room. So we come down here and all of a sudden, five minutes later, we have a deer harvested. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea turning the, the chair around, Cody. Yeah, it helped. Well, uh, that was that was a perfect platform. We made it nice and stable, and uh, it was easy. Especially for a walking shot, though. He's walking for walking a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. worked out. Well, I guess you could you could kind of call this a little bit of a ghost deer. It disappeared for a couple days there, and nobody seen hiding a hair of it. And so we started looking for it. And and uh, thank you, Lance and Cody. Appreciate it. You're welcome. And uh, Greystone Castle. This is this is what they have to offer. It's fantastic. have here is a mesquite grilled quail um, with some uh, roasted winter vegetables, um, a little brown butter glaze, topped with some wasabi microgreens. Awesome. It smells good. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. So it's, it's been a fantastic day here at uh, Greystone Castle and uh, uh, shot a, uh, the record uh, white-tailed deer, scored at uh, 303 points today and and I've got uh, two hunts, three hunts actually left. Um, and so I'm just gonna enjoy their hospitality and, and fine wine and excellent meals and, and uh, hope to uh, uh, bag a nice black buck. And uh, we can't wait to come back and start planning for next year.